so I want to I want to finish really by acknowledging. Um, I know Alan in his introductory remarks said some very kind things about his and I relationship, but these are completely objective comments. I want to acknowledge and recognize the brilliance of the Men's Development Network and its uniqueness. Michael Kaufman, who spoke in something like 45 countries, was commenting last night on how unique it is to have an organization working with men, both with men who use violence, and then they've got a separate program that works with men who are very, very vulnerable and need all kinds of help and support. This is a, a, a genuinely innovative organization that is carving out a methodology, a way of working with men. Some, a lot of it is in this book, which I gather is on sale outside for 20 euro. Um, it's just out, isn't it? Um, and what I think is really so impressive about them is the way that they've done it so quietly and with such humility, as well as with such success. So they've modeled a way of working with men where they've got on with it without sort of trying to create that sort of heroic story about men who go out and rescue people and so on and so forth. Could I ask for a round of applause for the Men's Development Network? There's a lot to be depressed about in post-Celtic Tiger Ireland, but there are grounds for real optimism and hope, as I've been saying. A truly aspira inspirational aspect of this conference is the way that Michael Kilbride brought the boys from his school and the wonderful young men that he brought here who wrote and read their poems. These are phenomenal boys who are growing into phenomenal men. And I'm gonna end with a poem and it's about women, and it's by Maya Angelou, Maya Angelou, and it's called Phenomenal Women. And you'll hope you'll bear with me, I hope you'll get why I'm ending on the subject of women, although it should be obvious. I'm just going to read two verses from a poem that has uh, four verses in it in the interest of time. Pretty woman, wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model's size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenal. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about, or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say, it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. That's the end of the poem, but I'm Assured, I have reliable information that Maya Angelou added afterwards. Men are phenomenal too, but they have to write their own poem. <laughs> 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 and that is what today has been all about. <laughs> <laughs>